So this is what we ask our kids to do in a nutshell uh, every weekend. Some of our activities, the topic change every month, and you can see trying to solve the woes of what really causes de facto segregation in schools is A, not an easy matter, and B, something that we ask kids to try and do in, you know, 35 minutes, four times in a row on Friday. And this topic is challenging and it doesn't get any easier, right? Right now we're currently debating whether or not the Supreme Court correctly decided that the um, Voting Rights Act is unconstitutional. We're debating whether or not uh, we should utilize humanitarian aid in governments where the political situation is not very good. Uh, next year, or next month, in this format of debate, uh, we move from debating issues of race to debating about whether or not we should have single-sex classrooms. Uh, so you can see that the level of research they do to kind of take on very, very contentious issues, and I think the articles that they've chosen to cite really kind of mirror trends in education. When I first showed up at Topeka High School seven years ago, I was given a copy of Ruby Payne's uh, a Framework for Understanding Poverty, and just last year I was asked to be on a committee where we're reading a book called uh, Courageous Conversations About Race. So even in the academic world, there's still that division of what kind of issues we need to solve or are uh, more prevalent in today's society. Lisa, do you have anything else? I would mostly just like to thank everybody for coming and um, to see us today. It's a great opportunity for them, but also for us as well, um, for them to be able to come and, and do this for us. Keep an eye out. We will be having more things like this with you. This year also, it marks the 60th anniversary of the Brown versus Board of Education decision, as well as the 50th anniversary of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. So keep an eye out. There are a lot of exciting things going on around here and in Topeka in general that, that we're taking part in. So keep an eye out because there will be a lot of things to do in the coming months. So thank you again. If you have any other questions, the girls seem really nice. I bet they'd answer some of them if you want to ask anything afterwards. But thank you very much for coming today.